the child of god the lord is saying to you do not worry that i have everything under control do not worry do not allow these things to bother in your heart because i will take care of everything god is saying to you be at peace with yourself because every single thing will turn out fine the scriptures in philippians 4 verse 6 says never worry about anything he says never ever worry never ever worry about anything instead in every situation let your petitions be made known to god through prayers and requests with thanksgiving dear child of god do not worry about the situation because the worries you are having will not solve the problems he's saying to you do not worry because worry doesn't add anything to the solution worry would only compound the stress worry would only compound the situation so god is saying to you come to the point when you become very careful of nothing when you put all of your focus your trust and your commitment upon him because he alone can settle everything concerning your life he says do not be anxious Come to that point that you have so much confidence in God that you are not allowing anything to trouble your heart. That you are not allowing anything to affect your joy. He says in nothing, be anxious. But in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving. It is very important because the moment you begin to worry, dear child of God, you will stop being grateful. You will stop being thankful. Dear child of God, the moment you begin to worry, it affects your communion and your communication with God. It says, let your request rather be made known unto God. Instead of worrying, dear child of God, voice out everything that are in your heart. Let everyone know everything that you are going through. Let everyone know everything that you are experiencing because God is wants to do something about that situation. He knows what worry would do. He knows the negativity of worries in your life. He knows that worry is very detrimental to you. That was why Jesus was saying, do not worry. Do not allow these things to bother in your heart. Do not allow these things to weigh you down. You see the scriptures in Jeremiah chapter 49 verse 23 says, their courage will melt away because of worry. It says their heart will not be able to rest. The moment you begin to worry, dear child of God, you lose your courage in that process. The moment you begin to worry, the strength and the stamina that you ought to have will begin to fade away. It begins to depart away from you. Indeed, as the scriptures were speaking in Ecclesiastes 5 verse 3, it says too many worries leads to nightmares. Dear child of God, make up your mind today that you would not worry about that situation. Make up your mind today that you would not worry about each and every of those things that the enemies are doing to weigh you down because worry drains your strength Worry causes you to be weak. Dear child of God, worry brings distress even more. Worry causes you to lose your focus. Worries disorganizes you. So Jesus knew all of these things. So he says, instead of worrying, throw all of your cares, throw everything upon me because I care for you. He says, come to me, every one of you that are heavy laden. He says, I will give you rest. God is ready to bring rest to you. And that is why he said to you, take your mind off that situation. Take your mind off that trouble. Take your mind off that pain and focus on me. Focus on me. Fix your eyes upon me because I know what I will do that will cause you to rejoice. Because the moment you allow worry to take over you, dear child of God, it will dampen your spirit. You will not be able to pray. You will not be able to relate with God the way you ought to relate with God. Matthew 6 verse 25 says, Therefore, I tell you, do not worry about your life. 
He says, do not worry about anything. Do not worry about what you will eat or drink. He says, do not worry about your body. He says, do not worry about what you will wear. He says, isn't there more to life than food and more to the body than clothing? Dear child of God, he was saying to you, look at the lilies of the valleys. Look at the birds of the air. He says, look at all of these things. Am I not the one taking care of them? He's saying to you, how much more you? How much more you, my child? How much more you that I have made in my own image and likeness? Dear child of God, please come to that point that you take worry off your mind because it brings and causes psychological strains and traumas. Do not allow worry to visit your home anymore. Do not allow worry to stay around your life anymore because it doesn't do you well. He says, instead, bring all of these things to my table. He's saying, instead, present these things unto me because I know what to do. He says, I have no cares, but in everything, in everything, learn to praise me. In everything, learn to have faith in me. Learn to have that confidence in me that I can do it, that I can do everything that is supposed to trouble your heart. He says, have faith in me. He says, believe in God. He says, have confidence in me. Dear child of God, you know what God said? He said, if you would believe in him, if you would have faith in him, he said you would not be put to shame. Why don't you have faith in God today? Why don't you have that confidence in God today? Knowing that him alone can fix your life. Why don't you take your mind off those circumstances? Why don't you take your mind off those stress? Why don't you take your mind off those situations? Why don't you take your mind off those things that the enemies are doing to weigh you down. He says, rather come to me. I will give you rest. God is saying to you today, I want to bring rest to your life. Yes, those issues in your marriage that is causing you to worry. He says, send that them to me. Bring them to me. Those issues about your health that is causing you to worry. He says, bring them to me. I know everything about them and I know what to do. He's saying to you, those issues that are affecting your finances, those issues that are affecting your businesses, he says, bring them to me. I will say to you, I know what to do. He's saying to you, I know everything that they are doing against you. I know the things that they are doing to cause you to cry night and day. But remember, he says, weeping would only endure for the night, but your joy will come in the morning. Dear child of God, God will give you that garment of celebration. God will give you that garment of rejoicing. God will give you that garment of praise. And the problems, the situations, the things that you had experienced, they will be gone from you and you will not remember any of them. He says none of them will come to mind. So do not worry. Instead, focus on me. Come to me. Speak to me. Rely upon me because I'm going to settle everything that concerns your life. It says, cast thy body upon the Lord. Psalms 55 verse 22. It says, and he shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. Dear child of God, the Lord will not allow you to suffer. He said he will not allow the righteous to be moved. All you need to do is to cast every of those burdens, every of those stress, every of those distresses, he says, cast every one of them upon me because I would sustain you. He's saying to you, you would not be moved. He's saying to you, nothing of these things the enemies have done would be able to suppress you. So look away from it. Act as though they are not existing because I'm going to give you the strength. I'm going to give you all the victories that you have been praying for and you would rejoice. He's saying to you, you would rejoice all the days of your life. So tell yourself today, I would do everything to maintain my consciousness of God. I would remain rejoicing. Yes, even when the situations are getting tough, I will not allow them to weigh me down. Because as the scriptures have said, the joy of the Lord is your strength. So I would remain joyful. I would remain steadfast in God. I would remain excited in my God because I know out of it all, 
He would give me a testimony out of everything that I had experienced. It would cause my life to rejoice. Dear child of God, you will rejoice so greatly because the Lord will say to you, because the Lord will do you well, and because the Lord will cause your joy to be full in Jesus' mighty name. May you have a reason to rejoice. May you have that testimony that you have been praying for. May your expectations not be cut short in the mighty name of Jesus. You will testify of the Lord's goodness and you will know that the Lord did it and he did you well in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. It is well with you, beloved. God bless you and shalom.